This episode of Film Learning is brought to you by Digital Products 669, so roll the thingy. This video sponsor! Woohoo! Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. Now you may remember a couple of weeks back we sat at the desk and we reviewed a pack called the YouTuber Pack 3.0 from Digital Products 669. Well guess what, they sent me through another pack which is arguably even cooler, introducing the YouTuber Comic Edition 3.0. Now guys, I've actually been looking forward to this review because a couple of weeks back when I reviewed the YouTuber pack, I went on Digital Products 669's Video Hive website and I saw this pack and I said, I want to review that one. It looks really, really cool. And trust me, it did not disappoint whatsoever. So how about we cut away from my egg-shaped noggin to their promo video and we talk about what's in this pack. So just right off the bat, there are 170 high quality elements that work in both After Effects and Premiere Pro. We've got 25 logo reveals, 25 title reveals, 30 lower thirds. Just look at all of those lower thirds. We've got info bars, both horizontal and side. You want in screens? Well, you've got 10 unique in screens straight into your face. And what's that? You want a whole bunch of motion shapes dancing all over your friggin' video? Well, here's a bunch of those too. It's also got a bunch of background loops, promotional pop-up thingies, and even a bunch of transitions that have been playing throughout the damn video. My God. So guys, you can see there is an absolute ton of stuff here to enhance your videos with cool motion graphics. But the real question is, how customizable are they in After Effects? Well, how about we jump into After Effects right now and answer that question. Okay guys, so here we are in After Effects and I've opened up the YouTuber Pack Comic Edition version 3.0. So you can see right off the bat, all of your stuff is all organized and ready to go. You've got your logo reveals, your tiles, your lower thirds, your end screens, transitions, info bars, side infos, promotional items, background loops, motion shapes, and then all the stuff that goes into all of those right here. So I've got a couple of these open. I've got a lower third open and I've got an end screen open. I thought we'd just quickly go over how customizable these things are because they are very, very customizable and it's also quite easy to customize. So first thing, all we're gonna do is just click on the controls of this lower third, head into the effects controls, and have a bit of a play. Now the first thing is here is probably one of my favorite features, the ability to change the duration just on a whim. Everything's generally set to 60 seconds as a default. We all know that lower third do not go for 60 seconds. If they did, that would be just insane. Anywhere from five to six seconds is more than enough time to read someone's name. So let's just make this say, five seconds and you can see oh no it disappeared but that's just because we're on the 10 second mark so if we now do a preview animation comes out thinky thinky thinking and we get to the five second mark and it's gone so what we'll just do is trim that comp right there and let's play with the controls so for starters lower thirds aren't in the center of the screen so what we're going to do is just change the position all to Bring this thing over into the corner. A little bit more. There we go, I'm happy with that. Okay, so from there, let's just change the text. So right here, I'm gonna go host, and then I'm gonna put my name here, a grand a kick. And from there, we can do a couple of things. So we can adjust the scale of this text if we wanted to. We can also change the width of the letters in between pretty good. Now we can also head up here and change the size of this thing if we want. That looks pretty good to me. And if we want to, we can also go in here and change the color of this thing if we so choose to do so. But you know what? I'm cool with that. I don't want to go too overboard. But you can see in just a little bit amount of time, we've changed the text on the inside, we've changed the position, we've changed the scale, and we've changed the duration. And that was all pretty low effort right there. So let's head on to the end screen. Now you can see I've got this thing set to a quarter and if I move around a bit, you can see that it does chug a little bit and that's because there's a lot going on here. Each one of these different areas is animated and this is a 4K comp. So right off the bat here guys, I don't want these videos here. When your end screen pops up, they'll automatically fade in on their own and I will just place them with inside of YouTube. So I'm just gonna come down here and turn those off. 
and then let's start to customize this thing. Let's start with the social accounts. I'm just gonna type in film learning and I'll just skip ahead and type all of these in guys. Now when we get to the Snapchat guys, as you know, I don't have a Snapchat. I'm far too much of an old fogey for that. But what I can do is put my Patreon info here. So what I'm gonna do is just click on this social logo, head over to the project window and I'm gonna grab this Patreon logo here and just drop that in. And let's just scale that down. So it's about the same size. And then I'm just going to head to color correction, add a tint. And we're just gonna grab that exact same yellow that's on the Snapchat logo. And we'll turn that off. Once we head back to the end screen, bam. We now have turned the Snapchat logo into a Patreon logo. Now guys, I can continue to keep customizing this, typing in my channel name, typing in a tagline, throw my website down here, but I think you guys get the point. You can customize virtually anything in here, especially if we go up to controls. If you wanna get rid of the, say the Snapchat, you can get rid of it. Everything will compensate for that. You can change the width of the box, the description box width. All of these things are fully customizable if that hasn't been made abundantly apparent. So guys, if you wanna change the fonts of these things, you can. If you wanna change the color of anything here, you can. It's just very, very easy to work with and make this thing your own. And just like with the YouTuber pack, I have barely scratched the surface, guys, of what we've got on offer here. The best thing I can say is that every single one of these comps along here controls exactly the same. You open them up. So let's just say we open up one of these. Every one of them is going to have these controls here. And it'll be abundantly clear what you're supposed to do. So you can just jump in there and easily change things for the better or worse. <laughs> So guys, that is the YouTuber Pack Common Condition 3.0, and that is another review here. Done. So guys, that is the YouTuber Comic Pack version 3.0 from Digital Products 669. As you can see, this is a really cool motion graphics pack with a ton of stuff that is very easily customizable. So I've got a whole bunch of titles that I've rendered out as an example. We've got a whole bunch of pop-up things that have been coming throughout the video, including this cool little money thing that I'm just putting on screen right now, hopefully. <laughs> It came up right. God, I hope so. Now the only real negatives I can come up with this pack is that because these things are 4K, they do actually take a long time to render, especially end screens, because there's a lot going on. And I think the end screen that I've got at the end of this video took me around about half an hour to render, and that was a 20 second long video. But that's just due to the density and the fact that they're 4K. But if you can manage just waiting for it to render, it's a really cool product. The other negative I will mention, and it's not really a negative per se, is that this thing requires an absolute crap load of fonts installed onto your computer. And installing that many fonts does actually take a bit of time. Now they have a list of all these fonts in the readme page that's in the download pack, but the problem is that when you open that up, all the fonts are listed one by one alphabetically. And say you've just downloaded say one, two, three, four, five, 25 of them, it's not until you get to the very bottom of the page that there is actually a bulk download link. Now that link would have been fantastic if it was say at, you know, the top of the page. Just saying. But as far as negatives go guys, that's it. The render times can take some time because it's 4K and installing fonts takes some time. Not deal breakers at all. But as far as my personal opinion goes, I'm going to keep using this for a very long time because I absolutely love it especially the end screens and the pop-up graphics. So guys, that's gonna do it for my review of the YouTuber Comic Edition 3.0 from Digital Products 669. If you wanna pick this up or just check it out, click the link below and yeah, check it out for yourself. And that's also gonna do it for our second episode of Film Learning this week, guys. If you did enjoy this episode and you are enjoying the review episodes, be sure and smash that like button, guys. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single Film Learning episode. I've got Twitter episodes right over here, as well as all my social media crap there, and my Patreon if you wanna support the channel. And also, if you wanna support the channel directly in YouTube, you can click that join button below. But until I see you again for another effect tutorial, guys, keep learning.